Well, this is the watermelon juice that they're providing today. All right, I'm going towards this buildings. यहाँ पर एक conference हो रहा है round table conference जो कि बहुत most important होता है. Discussions होते हैं what needs to be done in future uh, in the startup space and all and technology से कैसे improve किया जा सकते हैं health tech को या uh, edtech yeah, को. तो ये सारे के सारे चीजें यहाँ पर आज down वाला है ना. नीचे नीचे सबसे नीचे वाला ना. Okay, thank you. आपका नाम? नामो माधी. नामो माधी. नामो माधी. कहाँ से हो? उड़ीसा. उड़ीसा. Okay, thank you. तो यहाँ पर नीचे जाएंगे ये बस बिल्डिंग थी जो हमने कल कवर किया था आज हम दूसरी बिल्डिंग में कवर करने वाले सो देर इट इज वो बिल्डिंग जो आप दिख रहे सामने तो कल जो कवरेज था वो इस बिल्डिंग में था आज जो कवरेज है वो इस बिल्डिंग में So we we'll, we are we have just reached the uh, institution. We are just taking, getting inside now. If you can see, all right. So this is the board that this and this is the ISS board that you can see right now. And we are heading towards inside the campus. So we are just going inside this campus now, from here to Hyderabad because I want to reach early uh, because to, tomorrow is a big day for us. This is our first. uh you know coverage uh, for this then get on yeah this is it and uh, we've just reached so i'll go ahead and share with you the highlights of the particular event and after that we'll wrap up and take a bus to hyderabad so kanil vamsi and major we are going to pick up now from their rooms to get inside you need to have the safety right so this is the place where we are staying so we are going to pick them up and also the i don't i don't i didn't, I didn't remember that uh, they are having all these equipment inside this rooms so we will have to also get that hi morning so yes get inside we'll go to third floor right second floor Porto. Porto. Right. 
राइट फोक्स देखो ये कितना अच्छा नजारा है यहाँ पे आते ही मैं एक इस वाली बिल्डिंग में जा रहा था जो सामने आपको दिख रही है बट जैसे मैं ये एंटर करा हूँ यहाँ देखो आप इतना अच्छा लग रहा है आप देखो आस पास ये पहाड़ियाँ हैं और इतना अच्छा पूरा ग्रीनरी वगैरह बना हुआ है यहाँ पे ये कुछ बिल्डिंग्स है और वो एक मेडिकल रिसर्च सेंटर है यहाँ का तो उसके अंदर एक और हमारा राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस हो रहा है जिसका मैं कवर कवरेज करने के लिए आया हूँ एंड ये देखो आप कितना ब्यूटीफुल दिख रहा है ये लाइक द फॉग इज ऑन टॉप ऑफ दी हिल एंड उसके ऊपर आप ऊपर देखो क्लाउड्स आर ऑलमोस्ट टचिंग दी पर्टिकुलर हिल और फिर यहाँ पे भी एक हिल है फिर वहाँ पर भी एक हिल है तो ये पूरा एक इट्स काइंड ऑफ अवन यू नो I think it's on the investment it seems getting inside for take it spells from here थोड़ा दाना है This is an orchestra consisting of more than 100 instruments being played and students from three different campuses. This is the first symphony orchestra of India which is presently the largest orchestra in the country. We have a short video to showcase now where you share this stuff. This is part of the world and only a small portion of those orchestra is actually Indian people but this is a proper homegrown orchestra. children and members from villages from rural communities all of them holding these amazing instruments and actually playing together as one particular unit and as i told the orchestra today these symphony orchestras they just remind me about how the world needs to live in peace and harmony a symphony orchestra has got so many musical instruments that actually come to point each other at times we have 100 students playing woodwinds brass percussions and strings this orchestra is being led by mr dinesh and Mr Spencer Lewinson who graduated from the Ottawa University United States of America and he played trumpet Thank you. 
the drama between the instruments. So feeling the shape of, in the video that means I'm just uh, eating the legs my food right now. I'm into this song. I'm into this song. Wow, it was awesome and amazing. The performances, those have been two performances on the other two instruments. We will be glad to have the one that has been the best time for the time. And this one, massive performance by the Sand Symphony.
looks like uh, late by 30 minutes more because it's almost 11.45 now and I'm still waiting for the bus. This was a place where I was uh, accommodated. 